Oh, well. Goodbye, old friend. Well, all gone, but look what's sitting right next to it. Hmm. Let's talk about what happened. Well, that's what happened. Now, I don't want to mess around and denigrate the uh, Maker Morningstar too, too much. I've had this machine for, well, five or six years. And as you'll see, it's not, you know, indoors. It's not kept indoors in a beautiful spot. Pretty good spot, I think it is. And I really think it should have lasted longer, but hey, it didn't. And uh, the only thing I'm going to say that does make me a little unhappy is when I went to try and get information about get the, getting this tested, repaired, blah, blah, blah. Nightmare. Nothing but a nightmare. So if you're Morningstar or a Morningstar dealer, this thing just all of a sudden started putting out 1.7 amp max. And my batteries just went little by little by little. And thanks to the trouble trying to get this done, I brought my batteries way down, a lot lower than some others might, but lower than I like. I was in a 70 percentile before I finally had to do something else. And, uh, yeah, okay, fine. That's not what the video is about. The video is about how we finally dealt with this. And here we go. So there's our batteries. And we've got four pairs of the six volt works perfect for us. That's plenty of power. Normally we keep this covered, but for this we have it uncovered. And uh, <laughs> this is the actual original battery compartment, which gives you an idea. This trailer is old. Uh, it's getting on, what, 40 years old? It's, it's an 80, excuse me, it's a 74. So back in the day, one battery. <laughs> Not anymore. But what you see hiding in there in that crooked little mount is the solution for us. It's a Victron Energy uh, MPP controller, and it'll, it'll go up 75 watts, 15 amps, hence the 7515. And this is MPPT, which if you don't know the difference, I'm not gonna get into it right now. You just go ahead and look it up and check it out if you're into solar. There's reasons for going with an MPPT controller as opposed to a PWM, which is what we had. Now. We have a matched pair of, uh, I think they're, I want to say they're Renology. can't remember. But the uh, my matched pair of 100 watt panels, this, they'll work in either series or parallel. Right now they're wired in series because of the old setup. And it's for us, it's pretty much the same. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. But I'm going to go ahead and fix this up. This had to be done pretty quickly. When that uh, Morningstar unit died, well, these batteries took a big hit while I was trying to get that dealt with. And unfortunately, getting it dealt with meant I had to replace it. So I have another one of these little wood mounts that's supposed to be in there. And I'm gonna spend the, a little bit of time fixing that up. But the bottom line is that this is a better controller for when we add more panels. It'll make it'll it'll make sense later on. But right now we got a match set, they're hooked up in, in uh in parallel actually and we'll probably switch it out to series when we get a third panel which this will definitely uh take care of probably actually a little more but right now we're just gonna show what we got out here because i don't get into all this very much but let's see if we can give you a little idea why is there little pieces of duct tape well it, mar it marks the, the positive and negatives and if you can see in there battery PV, which is photovoltaic and load, which we're not going to use. And right now it's bulk charging. And these come straight where it says battery. That's where it goes to the, to the battery. And it goes to the, the positive and negative on the panels. And it's pretty plug and play. You just get it squared away and we'll be real happy with this. And what you can see there, of course, is the main breaker. Right there, things are a little dusty in here. Sorry, just the way it goes. But let me get this uh, put together a little neater and uh, 
maybe we'll be able to talk about it just a little bit more. All right. Now I feel better. It's mounted in there more properly. Now, one nice thing about this, as I mentioned earlier, you can see some of the dates on this battery. There's some, uh, there's 21, 19, uh, 2020. Uh, these aren't new. And as far, I know some of the connections don't look very good, but they're, they're actually clean. <laughs> Just the way it, it kind of doesn't look so good. But what's really nice about these is when my Morningstar went, spent a lot of time trying to get some information and trying to get the thing repaired or even talk to somebody without filling out you know, forms on the internet that they want everything, including your firstborn male child, in order to get any uh, information. That, that was a real drag because the, the stuff was working and that particular uh, charge controller had some features I liked, but I don't care how good the features are. If you can't speak to somebody, at least straight up, then heck with it, you know? It's garbage as far as I'm concerned. I'll never, I'll probably, Right now, unless something changes, I'll probably never get anything from Morningstar again because these, these, uh, this kind of thing just is too much to leave not knowing what's going on. You need to have somebody you can work with. And that brings me to who I got this from. I have other pieces of the system that are made by Victron. And when I looked into Victron as an alternative, I found a supplier not far at all from where I am about oh 50 60 miles away and when i called the phone number which morningstar didn't even have i got a human being um got a company that sat talked with me worked out with me and these people are installers as well as dealers for victron and yeah they did have to call me back a couple of times had to do a little scheduling because they're also installers and there's a lot of installations going on right now but when I asked my questions, I got the time. I even got a call back from the main installer. And he was the one who uh, pretty much held my hand and walked me through this. So I get a feeling, in fact, there's no doubt about it. If I need any more parts, unless Victron turns out to be garbage, which there's no indication that it's going to, it looks like I'm gonna go. And what I'm gonna do is give you a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in the house and get a card and give you a picture and Man, call these people, talk to them. And as far as I'm concerned, they've got a customer for life. As long as the gear itself holds out. And like I said, Victron, it's got a great reputation and you can't beat a company with great service and a product that is so far flawless. So let's go in there and I'll, I'll show you that. There you go. Panels up. Yeah, I got it on one of my solar panels. I'm willing to give up a couple of oogs and ergs to tell you about Justin's business. Because like I said, when I called, somebody answered the phone. When I had a question, they had an answer or they were willing to work with me so I could talk to Mr. Justin. And when I was able to, uh, you know, pretty much when he wanted to, it was fine. Everything got, it was a good, good, a good way he called me back when he said he called me back. And we were able to have a conversation about what would be best for my particular situation, which he's a lot, he's more used to putting entire systems together. But he didn't mind talking with me and making sure that this particular machine would work well for me. So that's all I can say. Use these guys. But there's a little more coming. I got to be a little careful. This is right over my desk. And that light, yep. That one's running off the system. And what you're seeing here is a smart battery monitor. Yes, Victron. And I did not buy this one from Panels Up, but this was one of the machines that led me to Victron. And now I've got this. There's another bit to this that I'll show in a later video, but it has a way of uh, monitoring the entire system. And then as you can see, I've got a couple of heavier uh, USB ports right there, a couple of Apples, yep, and then a couple extras, Bluetooth uh, speaker, battery charger, flashlight, 
things like that I can charge off of this. And this is very much a learning curve for me because a lot has changed. I've been doing solar uh, everything in, you know, in cars and sailboats and regular boats, but doing solar for a long time. But I had taken about a 20 year break and many, many things changed. But so there's my Morningstar Victron and uh, panels up video. Go check those people out. They might be able to help you if you need it. And right now we are just going to enjoy having our batteries all charged up. I don't know if I actually said that or not. We had taken the batteries down quite a bit. And with this system, within four days, we were back to 100% and have never strayed much farther than 97 from there. And that's running everything in this uh, 30 foot trailer, except for cooking and refrigeration air conditioning. And the refrigeration, hopefully we're gonna be taking it off, off the uh, grid here pretty soon. Once we know for a fact, we'll give it a month or so to make sure everything stays right. And then we're going to do it and add one more panel. And I can tell you exactly who I'm going to be calling. Thanks for your time. See you next time around.